Kia ora and warm Pacific greetings to you all. Welcome to episode 6 of the How to Make a Boomer Shooter series. In this episode, we are going to work on making some HUD elements. And I also wanted to jump into making our projectile weapons and understanding how projectiles work. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Eh? So, HUD. What does HUD mean? It means heads up display, brother. And pretty much what that is, is indicators of, I guess, the player's weapons that he has currently, the ammunition, you could have art that just displays like the character's face so you have an understanding of who the character is or stats or whatever. But yeah, um, heads up display is very useful for communicating information to the player. And yeah, it can be customized quite easily within the engine. So I just wanted to show you guys how to use that. So where do we go if we want to import some assets for HUD? Well, first thing we're going to do is go to our import resources tab and then if we navigate to the import system resources tab right here click on that you see we have all of these resources we can import here now these are pretty much like yeah almost every icon almost every actually i would say every icon can be customized within this engine but the ones we want to focus on specifically is the hmm Let's start off with something easier. Go to the HP Sprite. So this will be um, pretty much the Sprite that shows or is the indicator that this is the player's health. So let's go to our assets folder and you should have a HUD folder. And in this folder, I've just created four images here. One of them is called Numbers HUD, Armor HUD, HP HUD, and Crosshair HUD. For the HP, obviously, we want to use the HP HUD here. We do that and it's imported successfully. And now we've got a little icon here. Let's go to our numbers image. Default numbers. Let's go import for getting our own ones for the one I made. So we'll get that there. Right here. We'll go import our armor HUD sprite. That'll be that one right here. Cool. And but not least there it is so we'll change the cross here that but yeah a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory when it comes to uh displaying um in terms of the system resources but you can always jump into the manual if you want a more in-depth look on the details um which that is located right at this question mark right here and let's see what these look like eh? And as you can see, I got my little image in the bottom left with my custom numbers image that I've made. And when I pick up my weapons, we can have, uh, as you can see, they're all changed as well, which is pretty good. And yeah, so that is all working. And yeah, sorry for the changes. I was just, um, I added the water, uh, what is it called? Animated texture, a little bit of zoning, you know? It's like a map design, just having a bit of fun with it, you know. So when it comes to the HUD, if you're wanting to edit the positioning of some of the icons, um, a way in which you'd be able to move those and position them how you'd like is if we head to this advanced tools tab here and we go to the HUD configurator, this display will pretty much show all the icons within our HUD and you will be able to change the positioning of them by simply clicking on one and then typing in a value here or i believe you can move them yeah you can move them so if you move them to wherever you'd like to move them like let's say i put out up there and i put actually i'll just leave the keys there i'll put my weapon right underneath that i'll put my armor underneath that just put that there and we'll put our ammo Maybe here, and maybe the number right here, maybe. Let's, let's see what that looks like here. If I press accept, jump into the game. As you can see, they have been changed. So my health is in the top left now. And my weapons and ammo are right there too. And the ammo amount has changed. So it displays right next to my weapon. Which is pretty cool. 
Nice. Alrighty. Now, let's jump into making our projectile weapon, shall we? So, if I go to weapon settings, go to our fourth weapon, and I want to make a cannon. So, let's accept that. Yeah. We got our cannon right there. Let's import our sprites just so I can see what it looks like. Projectile. So I've added a image for the projectile we're gonna be using here. So we'll put that right there. And the death is these three frames right here. So we'll chuck that in. Nice ammunition. We'll put this one right there. Pick up. We'll go with this one here, and the HUD element will be this one right here. So those will be all the sprites we need. We'll scale it real quick. So hundred. Maybe we'll change this to be safe. Two hundred. Nice. So we'll accept that. Now let's have a look. Um, I will tip this use projectiles box because I do want to use projectiles, and now. Let's say max ammo will go 50, mag ammo will go 5, damage will be like 25, maybe like 50 actually, make it OP. The fire rate 10, we'll adjust that if it's too fast, reload speed will be 10 as well. Uh, projectile speed, hmm. Now with this version, there is like, um, there may be some collision um, issues when it comes to shooting projectiles quite fast and um, they might not register a hit when it comes to the enemy. So do be wary of that uh, as a case by case, I think, situation. Um, just adjust this however you feel the game or however your game will um, fit. Uh, I might go with like 120 for mine. That might be too fast, but we'll see. And then explosion radius, I want this to be quite big, not too big, maybe like 25. And then ammo in box will be five. Yeah, nice. And let's import our sounds. Projectile collision. There we go. Now this one is pretty much the sound that will play once our um, projectile hits something once we fired it. So if we fire it, it travels to its destination, hits something, um, this sound will play. So let's accept all that. And our cannon should be quite ready to jam. So let's have a look at it. Um, so if I go to my objects, we have it right here. And I will add this cannon ammo across the map just to tease the player to be like, what is, what's this for? And then in our final room, we'll add our prestigious cannon right in the middle of this pool that I've made on the in-betweens. But um, yeah, let's go explore and see what it looks like in game. Let's collect this. Prestigious weapon. <coughs> okay, so I picked it up and I guess it was underneath this tile. So I guess that's good to know then when it comes to uh, using default modifiers. If I place an item on top of it, it might register on the tile below. So, but I've collected my weapon, so that's pretty cool. And if I fire it. <coughs> Nice. <laughs> nice, dude. 
let's test it out with all the enemies in the map let me go cheat codes give all Let's go to town. You're dead. Nice. You're dead. That was a good example of the projectile kind of missing the detection of the enemy here. Yeah. You're dead. That's right there as well. And if I shoot the ground, I should get hurt. Yeah. Interesting because the explosion radius is in effect. So that's pretty much how to um, place some items within your system resources for HUD as well as our projectile weapon. In the next episode, I'll probably jump into more of the mapping stuff like custom modifiers, lights, and things. So please stay tuned. But uh, in the meantime, uh, please like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Eh?